What is going on guys? Legit here back with some more World of Tanks for the Xbox 360. And today we have ourselves a match on Cliff. And we are in the sort of new SU-85i. It's a tier 5 Soviet tank destroyer. And uh, it's a pretty good little tank. I, I like it. Um, it'll do 50 kilometers an hour forward. as 51 degrees of traverse a second. And, you know that's medium tank territory when you think about it. Um, of course, it doesn't really like going uphill, which I I found out does slow down quite a bit. Um, but yeah, uh, so far the match got some people guarding the uh, Death Valley over there, and most I'd, most yeah most of the team has come over here to the middle. These two light tanks over on our left are having themselves a little battle with this heavy tank. Doesn't seem like they're doing much to him, but... So I come up here. I was originally going to go and help them, but I saw this KV-1 here kind of tracked, so I thought I might as well take some shots at him. Wait for the reload. So. Bounce a shot from somebody, so I've overstayed my welcome, so I back up. This thing surprisingly bounced that shot. I don't know how it did. Um, it's only got... I think 60, 60 millimeters of uh, funnel, funnel hull armor. So I'm not really sure how you, how I bounced that. Probably hit like the gun mantlet or something. Uh, there we go. Take out that KV-1. But it's definitely not something you should rely on whatsoever. But you will occasionally get a weird bounce. But you kind of get that with every tank. So tier four tank destroyer. Gonna take him out first since he uh, could back up and I wouldn't be able to get a shot on him whereas the Matilda just kind of rushed forward now we got some pretty good size shots on the Matilda and, yeah, they took him out before I could reload got a 4.2 second uh, reload time which is pretty good if I do say so myself it's about two seconds to aim the gun as well which eh, mm, it's on the slower side but for tier 5, I guess it's not that bad. So we're kind of flanking around on these uh, these tanks over here. VK-3001. It's kind of in a really bad spot. But he's got his whole side towards me. And the, the gun is actually uh, surprisingly accurate. Um, so you shouldn't have a problem hitting weak spots on it. Even though, statistically speaking, it has uh, 0 0.4 accuracy, which is not good at all. Um, I haven't had that many problems with it. So, Alright, so they're in approaching our base. We got two tanks that got lit up here, almost dead. Take these guys out. T1 Heavy misses. Take him out as well. Alright. So we're up to five kills here. Granted, those last two were almost dead, but hey. They may be almost dead, but their guns still work, so. It was worth it. Alright, last two tanks are over here. T14. Wanted to go for the top gun first, so I went and took out the T, uh, T14 first. Alright, now let's see if I can get this, this medium tank before somebody else does. One problem with tank destroyers, you always have to move the hull. Just gets kind of annoying, but that's why having a a slower aim time on tank destroyers is not very good. But there we go, seven kills. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty good match, I foul say. Uh, all right, basically three thousand experience, whole slew of medals as well. Go high caliber mastery badge. Still chasing down that uh, ace tanker, I think. Pretty sure I don't think I've gotten it yet. Go top gun as well. All right. So since it is a premium tank, we did get a a little uh, silver bonus there. We got sixty-seven thousand. So it's a pretty good match. Seven kills, seventeen hundred damage. Couldn't really ask for more. <laughs> so yep. Alright, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. 
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.